Welcome back everyone. Uh, this is just a quick little video just to let you know of a project that I've started. If you're one of the ones that follow my uh, Facebook page then you would have seen a post a little while ago about my 3D printer giving me some problems or challenges. Challenges, not problems, challenges. So the challenges seem to be becoming even more frequent now and to be absolutely honest <laughs> I've just about had a gutful of it. So what I'm going to do is build a new printer and uh, this video just touches on what I'm going to do. So let's take a look at it now. Well, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you'd know this is my Delta printer that I use for all my 3D prints. And up till now, it's been giving really good service. Over the last couple of weeks, though, I'd noticed some really odd uh, artifacts on the prints, uh, rippling when I try and print large prints and things like that. And it's been really frustrating. I've also had some real odd little things go on when I'm printing. And I tried a number of things, but I just couldn't seem to figure out what was wrong with it. So I really need to get to the bottom of this. So I actually had a really good look at the printer. And as you'll see by these photographs, a lot of the plastic bits around the towers have actually cracked. And I noticed that the rods had actually slipped down inside those bits. So the actual heights were all out of whack and that's why it was so hard to actually keep it leveled. Um, and also a couple, I found a couple of other loose bolts and things like that. So anyway, what I actually did, I set the rods at the height that I really needed them at and just glued the plastic bits around the or together and around the rod and put it back into service and found that after I got it all leveled and everything like that it was back to almost printing perfectly. Well all was good for a short period of time and then uh, today I went out to try and investigate why the levels had shifted again and this is what I found. One of the height adjustment screws on the towers the plastic is totally disintegrated and when I look at the other towers here's another crack that you can see in uh, one of the other bits of plastic so you know while this has given really good service for um, quite some time I think it's basically just seen better days however I suppose the good news is while it was printing well it's been very very busy printing bits for a new printer and here's some of them here um, they've all turned out yeah not too bad not too bad at all um, they probably could be better but uh, given the state of the printer um, I'm pretty happy with they, the way they turned out anyway this is a new set of bits for a Hypercube Evolution printer now, I've been thinking about building one of these for quite some time and well now I don't have a lot of choice I suppose so all the bits are printed out luckily before the printer finally died I've started getting deliveries in the office pretty much on a daily basis as things start to turn up unfortunately the frame's still probably about a week away but um, I'm dying to get into it um, and as I do the build I'll be making posts, so uh, feel free to follow along. And um, if you've got any questions, by all means, just send them through and I'll do my best to answer them as I go anyway. I'm building just the straight 300 by 300 by 300. I did think about going bigger, but um, I've decided to keep it the same, but I am making it a little bit taller just to get a bit more space to put the power supply and things like that in rather than hanging them off the back but I'll cover off on that as I start getting into the build okay well cheers for now if you like what I'm doing then please do like the video if you'd like to see more then 
please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.